Hello everyone, and I'm back with yet another project. Today we'll be doing a little crafting. I have these styrofoam balls. We'll be using them on today, and I'm gonna start by saying that I have taken the balls and used Elmer School glue to coat them. So we'll be using these today to make curtain rod ends. Don't wanna go pay for expensive rods? Stay tuned and see how I create the ends to the curtain rods. We'll be using these gems. I have them in gold with pearl and I also have them in pink with the pearl and I did get them from Dollar Tree. I also have some picks that I used on a previous project and I'm just taking the balls off and just using the soft pink balls. I also will be using some Dollar Tree pearls as well as some gold beads that I have. I have my scissors, my hot glue gun, along with some paint that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to start out by painting the styrofoam balls. I'm going to finish painting the styrofoam balls and we'll be right back. And just like that, we're done. The paint is dry and I decided to do all three. I'm going to take my pink gems and I'm going to use just one gem on the top of each ball. This will be the beginning of my curtain rod end. I'll be using a bead of hot glue to ensure that they stay in place. Now I'm ready to add more hot glue and glue on my small pink pearl beads. These are small and tedious, but we will be adding two rows around each of the balls. If you're watching and you're enjoying this content, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so you'll be aware of all my upcoming videos. Once I've added the pink single pearls, now I'm ready to add the pink pearl wrap and I'll do this around each of my balls. Now that I have the pink wrap secured around my balls, I'm ready to add my pearls. I will take my single pearls, add them around the ball, two or three, and then I'll pink, take a gold bead and put next to that. I will do two or three pearls, then add gold all the way around the ball. I'll do one row like this, and then the following row I'll do in all pearls. Now you can see where I'm going and I'm going to do all three balls and I'll come back with the next step. Now that all three balls are done, we're gonna go right ahead and add our next row of pearl wrap. This time we'll be using the gold pearl wrap and we'll do this around each of the balls.
now I'll just be going back to my single pearls. I'll add a row of single pearls. Then I'll go and add another row of the pearls. Three, add three, and then add a gold bead. Add three, add a gold bead. Add two to three, add a gold bead. And this is just to break up the pearl and give it a little bit more color. And here is what my curtain rod in is looking like. Now we're just going to continue after the row with the gold added. We're just going to continue adding more white pearls. And we're going to do four to five rows of white pearls just to finish up the rod in. We're going to leave a circle at the bottom. I'm leaving my circle about an inch and a half on each rod and this depends on the thickness of your rod but again my rod I need about an inch and a half so I'm going to do those four to five circles and leave that round opening of about an inch and a half. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. Also, give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video. I'm adding my last row of pearls and I just want to check the bottom of each of my balls to ensure that all my circles are just about the same dimension, about that inch and a half. And then I'll be back to show you guys the reveal. I will be putting it on a curtain rod and testing it out. Again, these are not for me. A few weeks ago, I did some tablescapes and these are to go with the tablescapes. And I'll leave that in the description box below. So don't go away, stay tuned for the reveal. Here is one set of my rod ends. I have them laying on their side so you can imagine what they would look like on the rod. And here is the second set, again laying on its side. Now later on, I'm going to take it in my guest bedroom. I'm gonna screw off my crystal ends and add two of them to the rod so you can get a better idea of how they're supposed to look. I think they turned out absolutely gorgeous. And here they are in yet another position, sitting up. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Now here they are as if you were going to buy them in twos or threes. They will be in packaging looking something like this. Now here we are in the bedroom. I have taken off my crystal ends and replaced them with the styrofoam ends. They look just like metal and work perfectly well on the pole. Now the pole that I will be using, using it on is a lot larger than this pole. So I think they'll turn out really pretty and I think my client would love them. I want to say thanks to all of you all for watching. If you're a subscriber, I want to say thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for your support. And if you're watching and haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so now. I want to say have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.